Hi, this is Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is December the 1st, 2019. I hope everybody had a very nice Thanksgiving. It is uh, this interim of a quiet right now. Uh, I, I live in a university town, so when holidays happen here, <laughs> a, a, a pretty good share of the population go home for the holidays, so it gets quiet, but it's really nice. I like it this way. They'll all come back eventually, but uh, uh, I like the um, I like the peaceful feeling uh, at this time. Um, so today I'm going to do a reading on Adam Schiff. This was a requested reading. And when I asked my spirit guides, they said yes to go ahead and do this reading. Uh, I use the Gilded Tarot, or at least I'm using the Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti for this reading. I use the Gilded Tarot for a lot of my readings, but not all. And there is an oracle card for us. And I do a simple Celtic cross layout. When I do my readings, I ask my spirit guides to show me the cards psychically, and then I pick them out of the deck, and then I ask them why they chose those cards. Subject card, Justice. This is Adam Schiff, formal federal uh, prosecutor. And uh, this is uh, uh, him in his role uh, as the... Um, the chief of the House Intelligence Committee, bringing justice, uh, leading impeachment. This is also his nature. To bring things into light and to uh, uh, make sure that uh, justice is done. This is at, uh, at the top of the reading. This is judgment. So this is Adam Schiff uh, heading the committee and bringing the um, uh, um, truth out, uh, asking people to uh, give depositions, to testify, and, and to uh, tell the truth uh, about the, the deeds of uh, the uh, uh, Trump administration in this case regarding the Ukraine or regarding uh, Ukraine. In the near past, this is the Ace of Swords. This is Adam Schiff successfully uh, starting the, in the impeachment hearings. Uh, he, uh, my guide say this is him being instrumental in getting this process started. Underneath, the Ace of Cups. So FYI, Adam Schiff is, uh, I believe he's a Cancer. Uh, his birthday is June 22nd. He was born 1960. So that's right at the cusp. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But that should just be the sun going into Cancer at that point. When I asked my guides why this card, they said this is uh, Adam Schiff loving his country, that this the reason that he was a federal prosecutor and he uh, is uh, um, uh, heading uh, the impeachment inquiries and uh, uh, putting putting this uh, effort forth is because love of his country. That's where it's coming. Love of America, love of democracy. So this is something that's altruistic, that's beyond his ego. This is what's inspiring him. Near future, this is the Knight of Pentacles. My guides say this is uh, passing off the impeachment to uh, Na uh, Congressman, or sorry, Senator Nadler. So he's accomplished this. They've written up uh, uh, the impeachment um, uh, charges and uh, uh, successfully got them uh, uh, approved in the uh, Congress and they now they go off to the Senate. Here you go. <laughs> That's what the pentacle is. Here you go, Nadler. We've done our part. Uh, this is the uh, clarifying card. This is the Six of Wands. This is um, Schiff having been successful in initiate, helping initiate this process overseeing it, 
uh, facilitating it and then successfully um, uh, tying up the loose ends, getting it uh, uh, in order, uh, getting, uh, get a, getting everything ready to go for the Senate. So he's successful in that. And it's not an easy job, so we should be thankful to Schiff. This undertaking was very complex and it, 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 it required a lot of uh, uh, focus and a lot of uh, equanimity and uh, working with uh, uh, many different people, many uh, finding information from many different sources, getting the depositions, getting people to come in. Mean, look at what what happened with Sal. Um, I cannot remember his name. Is it Soundland? Oh, um, the ambassador. Uh, none of that was easy. So we really owe Adam Schiff a lot of uh, uh, gratitude for what he did because this was a huge effort on his part. It, he's like Pelosi, you know, the just brilliant genius strategist. A lot goes on behind the scenes that we will, we don't know. So we do owe him a huge, huge uh, uh, debt of gratitude. The uh, outcome card, that is the Queen of Swords. And when I asked for clarification, because I was thinking, is it Pelosi? But no, my guides say no, that this is... Um, Justice. This is uh, the overlying theme, which is uh, speaking truth to power. Um, this is facilitating uh, impeachment through the American justice. Um, uh, well, through the, the through the American through the not American justice system, but de uh, through our democratic system, which allows uh, congressmen to to uh, enact oversight uh, on uh, um, on our government. Uh, about it being an equal branch of power. That's what that means, Queen of Swords. And it's done. That is my quick reading on Adam Schiff. And I did ask uh, about his future and what my guide said was that there is a higher position for him, maybe Secretary of State, or Attorney General, something like that. But he, he is, uh, 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 trajectory is on the rise regarding uh, being active in our uh, democracy. He's a very powerful and influential and a good actor, uh, actor meaning uh, somebody who is going to bring these uh, uh, virtues and this morality, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, with him to help heal uh, our, our uh, government and the damage that's been done. And it'd be wonderful, I think, if uh, Schiff does uh, have that, some kind of position like that. How fantastic would that be? But they're saying that's out there for him. That's what's coming for him in the future. I asked for a, a card for us, uh, an oracle card. And uh, my guides uh, directed me to the Messenger Oracle uh, card guide, guidebook by Ravan Philan. <laughs> and this is the card that they chose. A new day dawns. I'm going to read the meaning of that card for us. Today is a new day. With the dawn comes an opportunity to begin again or to embrace something new. Create what you wish to create. Become the person you dream of being. Do not allow your doubts or fears to hold you back, for this day is bright with hope and good fortune. Go forth and greet, uh, go forth and greet it with a smile upon your lips and joy in your heart. So each day is a new day, and today a new day dawns. I think that's so beautiful. And it's beautiful to think about, especially when the days are so short, and um, we seem to be living, at least here in the Western Hemisphere, to be living in darkness. But I'm finding the darkness to be healing in a surprising way. 
there's a lot that can be done in the dark and not necessarily out, outside, although, you know, some people love to walk out in the dark, especially those of you who have pets. But uh, there's something soothing about being able to just withdraw uh, early and, uh, you know, do inside things and, uh, and you take care of yourself in, indoors. I like that right now. I'm, I'm, I, and maybe I decided that I would. I, I do that kind of psychologically, kind of <laughs> um, uh, be proactive uh, whenever there's a transition or a change from one season to the next. And especially, you know, coming into the shorter days and the longer nights, deciding that how can I turn this around for myself and make this a positive experience and something that I, uh, I, I, I find joy in and I find hidden treasures in as opposed to uh, disliking it and just waiting for it to be over so that the days grow longer again. Because every day is precious. And, and yes, with every day, a new day dawns and new possibilities, new opportunities. I want to wish everybody a happy first of December. There is no specific holiday that I know of on this day, but uh, it does feel significant because it's you know December already, uh, and uh, gosh, Christmas is coming up, or, or Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, or all three, whatever you celebrate, uh, and that's going to come like you know like a speeding train. <laughs> But that brings the solstice, and then that brings the um, beginning of the longer days. So there's that to look forward to. In the meantime, enjoy uh, uh, this uh, this uh, time of the year. There's a lot of beauty in it. Take care, everybody. Uh, I always remind people that I do readings. If you want a reading from me, uh, I'll leave uh, my information at the end of... Uh, uh, this uh, video and also it's uh, the information is down below take care sending you my love